Newcastle legend Lee Clark bought himself a beautiful Sky Dweller steel with the white dial. Absolutely <laughs> delighted and the service has been brilliant. Got a gentleman here with a gold zenith. The 5711 4 slash 14 and it is the Nautilus with the very special green dial. It's a 36 mil bit, just all factory diamonds. Just for the viewers out there, I am not Jack and <laughs> Shoes dad. And I'm not Robbie Savage's dad. I don't know whether it's good, bad or indifferent. I'm looking on Chrono and there's a black one the same as this for 5,000. It's actually already sold, but this is the Meteorite Oyster Flex Daytona. This is the President bracelet. This is the more popular bracelet. Speedmaster, grey side of the moon. I think this retails are 12.6. This is brand new. They will be selling this for 11,500, so slightly below list. some Friday deals for you. So first off, we're going big. It's the Meteorite Daytona Yellow Gold Oyster Flex. Very, very rare. This is one of the first ones we've had in Yellow Gold and Oyster Flex. This is going to a customer that's part X and two watches. A Yellow Gold Daytona and the Oyster Flex Daytona. 326935 Rhodium Sky Dweller. Full rose gold. Brand new, 2022 days. I remember when you sold a customer that, that watch on the Oyster Flex. Yeah. And I think that it was at that moment when I, I kind of prefer that dial to the chocolate yeah, now. Yeah, I prefer the rhodium dial. Chocolate is very popular as well. It does look good, but for me, I would probably go rhodium. The last piece, the day's not over, but the last piece so far is the 16710. GMT2 Pepsi. Mm. This one is a 2007, absolutely pristine, as you can see. I was gonna see. say the bezel is in like perfect condition. Bezel's perfect. So do you it's think this would, did this come from a collector who just this kept came, it or something? Yeah, or? so this came from a quite a big collector who had a few vintage pieces. He sold us about five and I think he took two of our watches from stock. This has probably been in stock probably a couple of weeks and it's gone to a new home today. Lovely watch. Great looking Full piece. Set. Yeah. They've got a different character to them, don't they, the older yeah. ones? Yeah, I prefer them to the code as well. So they're three of the watches that are going out today. We have had a few web orders as well that are going out. And we did a white gold Isoflex Daytona also, mm -hmm. which Harry will show you on the screen. We took in the part X, which she will show you. So this one, today, that's Josh's Sky Dweller. Uh, this is that is the yellow Yachtmaster? Yellow Yachtmaster 42. Yeah. Okay, what are they going for at the minute then? Because that's so, quite a recent release, isn't it? So this one we sold for 29,000. Okay, so is, is there much difference from that and the white gold? Is it still above the white gold or? Price wise, mm -hmm. yeah, slightly above, slightly above, but uh, 29K was, a, I think, a good price in the market for that watch. Yeah, People yeah. are selling for like over 30. We sold a little day just with the a zero the zero blue on a jubilee sold this on finance so that's a 41 mil day just with the wimbledon dial yep. bezel on a jubilee bracelet this is the yellow gold yacht master 42 which i love i'm a fan of the white gold but the yellow gold i think i prefer i would probably prefer as well if it was a 40 mil for my tiny wrist but that's gone out probably tomorrow we're just waiting on payment for that and then yeah busy friday here yeah. very busy Stuart, what can i get a wrist check what you're wearing today today harry i'm wearing the daytona oyster flex with champagne 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 i think we've got that with the contrast and black dials as well yeah I've well, we'll, so we'll have it with the black sub dials obviously there it is with the meteorite dial but this one i've just been wearing and, and enjoying and you can see it's in not the best of condition because i have wore quite a lot been wearing this regular nice watch lovely watch oh that's the one i was talking about yeah and we also have a paul newman that's coming in part but from the meteorite as well so they'll be in stock as well Yet on the flight, he had one of them. No, I'll stay. Yeah, it's a good watch. Day dates. But if you wanted two for your son, like something like the dates, was perfect. I just, well, her, I think hers is like obviously smaller. Mm -hmm. And I think, it, is it that bracelet or is it? You get a Jubilee like this. Oh, so that's the Jubilee, that's the that one. Yeah, so a little bit smaller. But it's like that, I mm -hmm. belt as. Your sons would want these or 41 mils. Lush, ah, yeah, yeah, definitely. That's size in a 30, the, the blue dial. Yeah. That's a 36. Mil. Yeah, well, she's only little as well, do you know what I mean? So they're the gen sizes. Oh, 41. Diamond there. Seeing that, like, my son makes his debut for Liverpool, the more he'd be buying me one a little bit. With <laughs> <laughs> his bonus. Sky Dollar, is it? Sky Dollar, yeah. yeah. Same as yours, so you've just got the blue, uh, white one, that's the blue. Mm -hmm. And it comes in black also but we don't have one of them left. but the dates just are perfect watches every day or subs something like these so submariner dates mm -hmm. or dmts 
Mm -hmm. just for them every day it's not too flashy either do you know what I mean they can mm -hmm. wear it every day and enjoy it so I just so would love them to have the, the same sets, one with yeah, the uh, blue faces even, you know if, even I mean? if you've got one that one and that's got the Roman numeral that's got the blue <coughs> mm -hmm. so it's a little bit different they've all got a little bit yeah. different on the mic so it's like a darker blue that's a lighter blue it's called a Zuro blue we can get them engraved as well for you yeah we can get the back that's engraved. a nice little, nice little touch like oh, we can get a name on there where the sticker is or something right. that represents the family or whatever Bill, uh, could be for his debut well I or just I could she got her, she's 24 now, so she's mm -hmm. out of the way, but it, it looks class. It yeah, looks, 100%. Looks class on her, to be her face. She's only tiny, so she's got little wrists and mm -hmm. that. If you ever wanted to swap her, she could bring it in here, we'll swap it for her, or get it refurbed, whatever you want. No, so I need bother. Want. Get a bag for you as well. Uh, That's everything in there, so you know about the warranty card, just keep all the safe, because it does affect is there, the value. Is there in, in, in invoice in there? Invoice you've got on the email as oh, well. Oh, just on the email. Oh, yeah. Could you show the watch? The watch is, yeah. yeah. Watch oh, there. this is the watch that's been... Yeah, that's the watch. White steel sky dweller. Oh, very clean. Really, very really clean, clean looking, yeah. Newcastle legend Lee Clark come mm. in the store, he's bought himself a beautiful sky dweller, steel with the white dial, perfect watch, it fits him perfectly. Contrasts well against the Spanish tan. <laughs> <That's it. laughs> Delight, delighted with the purchase, absolutely <laughs> delighted and the service has been brilliant. Spot on. Thanks very much lads. <laughs> Well, lads, thanks, Thank you very much, thanks for your help. Appreciate Thank it. You. Really appreciate yeah, what yeah. you've done. Thanks, thanks guys. Yeah. Thanks, Lee. Well, yeah. Good well, Lee Clark. Good well, Lee Clark, lad. <laughs> what a legend. Lee Clark, oh, what a player he was. What yeah. a player back. When, when, when was the heyday? Like, was it mid 90s? Kind of oh, it was the noughties, as we said, you know what I mean? It was the noughties, wasn't it? 90s to the noughties. Peter Beardsley, Lee Clark, Janola, Beres Fire, obviously Shearer. Al Primero Zenith. This looks right up Hendo Street. This. It's exactly what it is. You can see in there, but. So this is a rose gold Zenith El Primero. It is. Right. And the El Primero is the chronograph movement, isn't it? Is that right? It is, yeah. yeah. It's the one that they used to use, that Rolex used to use in the Daytona. Daytona until they fell out. Yeah. <laughs> we've actually got, we've got a white Zenith Daytona here um, that came from a collector, so yeah, we were talking about it not too long ago. Yeah. Did you have any idea how much you're looking for for it? I was wondering how much you want to pay for it, really. I'm looking on Chrono and I can see two listed. There's a, a white one for 4,300 and there's a black one, the same as this, for 5,000. Which model it is as well might help for you. So is this for the... Is this one of the, oh, the catalogues? Hard to come by. And if you look at that, the original price when I bought it, I didn't pay the original price. I got a bit of a discount, but it's five grand. That was 20 years ago. And did you buy it direct from a Zenith boutique? Bought it from Gretna. Okay. Probably the best thing to do is to let me take some pictures and do some research. Mm -hmm. But like I say, there's a one on Chrono there for like for just over five thousand pounds. I would need to speak to Hendo first, mm -hmm. but I think if we're, we're going to buy it, it would be somewhere between three and three three thousand five hundred. I think if you wanted us to sell it for you, um, you're going to get at least 10% more than that with a watch like this. No, I need the money, I need a new boiler. <laughs> okay. Well, <laughs> let, me see, let me see if I can have a conversation with him now. I've got a gentleman here with a gold zenith. Right, so on the website that we're looking at, they have fees to sell a watch. Yeah. So I think if we were buying it, it would be closer to 3000 The thing is as well, because it's an older style, style watch, don't get me wrong, it's a lovely looking watch. It's just, we don't have a buyer for these every day, like we do for some of the, the modern things that we sell. You're not even yeah. do three and a half? No, if you wanted me to sell it for you, I could look to return three and a half, but if we were buying it, it would be 3,000 pounds. It's a lovely little watch. They were very popular at one point. Try and bought it. And it isn't good, Nick. It is. You could say that was mint. I'm back in the strap. Yeah. I would have replaced the strap, but they're about 400. I was about to say that you're probably looking at three to four hundred pounds for a new strap as well. Even that then was four hundred quid. That's what you're paying it. Yeah. Couldn't even do anything over three. I could do three thousand one hundred if that works. Sure. Okay. Yeah, that's fair enough. Have you got a driving license in your bank detail? That's a Pillmaster, this is a Yachtmaster, that's a Pillmaster. No, they're 39. 29, 29, yeah. And this one next to it is a 36 Master, slightly bigger. That's 36. And this one? Could you stop? Yeah.
Vacheron ladies. Rubber strap. Mm -hmm. Quite smooth. So you want to smooth that so something like that? I think I prefer the smooth. All golds though. Mm -hmm. So what about um, one of these two? We can also yeah. change the dial for you as well. Right, what, and with the diamonds, I like the diamonds on mm -hmm. the face. So this is 2018, this is 2019, but we can change the dial for you. We can get an original Rolex or we can get a custom diamond dial, whatever you want. Right, but that's okay. the watch. And what about the, the, the bezel? The bezel. So you, this is a smooth bezel? Yes. Is yeah. that what you want? So this no, is, no, so you want I a fluted like bezel? Oh, okay, so you want a fluted bezel. Oh, I'm trying to do a do a fluted on this. Which strap do you want? Smooth, so this strap. This strap. This so the type Isa strap. Yeah, yeah all, all gold. So really you want that in yellow gold with a different dial? Let's have a look. But with the diamonds on the face? Yes. <laughs> Just on the face, not around the... Yeah, if we can look to locate one. What's a ballpark track? Yeah, and I think the 30. I would probably try this one on because it's going to be similar weight. So if you try that on... Yeah, I like that size. Yeah, okay, so it's going to be pretty much the exact same as that. But obviously just with the different down in yellow gold, rather than the rose. Yeah, we'll try that one. Yeah, we'll try that. So that's a 36mm bit, just full factory diamonds. I just think the colour of the face. Mm -hmm. See, do you not like that? Is that too much for you? Oh, too, too much. Yeah, I don't like all that diamond. I don't think they do that bracelet. too, too no. blingy. They might only do this style bracelet with the yellow gold, with the fruit of bezel, that's all. Not the Isis one. Right. So this is the president bracelet. This is the more popular bracelet. They don't do the bigger bracelet. Yeah, so they don't they don't do this bracelet in yellow gold with the fluted bezel. Right. I thought you could personalise yeah, it. Yeah, it's just that the strap one. doesn't come on that. So it comes like this with the smooth bezel. Unless you order from the factory, but they're not even have them in stock. I say, my might be right. Right. I'm happy to choice. What's that face then? Thirty six mil. Silver well, diamond art. Silver diamond art. Right. Yeah. No? Yeah, rose gold's very no, popular no, though. No, it just depends what your jewelry um, is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's not gonna match. Yeah, right. Okay. So what can you get then? So the best thing to do is if you go on Rolex, you can fully customise the watch. Right. Send me it and then we'll get you one, basically. Because right. Rolex, you won't get one for probably a very long time and you have to have a big spending history with them. Okay. Whereas with yeah. one, you can get the watch yeah. a lot quicker. The waiting list, right. Okay. So it's definitely a 36. Yeah. So it's just a 36 mil data, but it may come on this strap, so... Right, okay. They do do it or not? They don't do it, they don't do, they only do in 36 with the fluted bezel. Right. They only do the right. Jubilee. Okay. Which is this. Right. Yes, it's 2007, but this, the, that watch hasn't changed from then, so it's current right. model. Right, okay. Yeah, so right, no you can still buy this one. model. You can still buy it's that really watch. It's nice, classy. That's a okay. factory dial, but we could get you any colour dial you want in it, but just we just change the dial for you. Please. And that's a white so what costs? What's this price? Nineteen thousand five hundred. Box and purpose. So it's current model. So if you look so at this, it's a two thousand and seven. Seven. So this is twenty twenty two. Yeah. And you look at this; it's the exact same as that. It's the current model. They haven't changed anything about the watch. Right. Right. Do you take a photograph mm -hmm. there? Yeah. It's yeah. Nice. Mm -hmm. So if we were to get you like a new one, it would be around what. He said that right. it's twenty nine thousand. This one's nineteen thousand five hundred. Right. Pretty much the exact okay. same watch. So, the exact same watch. So it's got the bezel. It's got that. Right. And we can change the dial for you. Put the at any stage, we can. Yeah. You could put a custom dial, or we can look to get you an original dial, whatever. So you that's want. a plain white dial. Yeah, I don't know. I like the, the black. Just. Stands out a lot more. Does it make the diamonds stand out more? more the con the contrast. Yeah, it looks nice. Yeah. 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 If you go for gold, gold on gold just looks too gold. If you know what I mean. Yeah, right, okay. It's funny how it, everyone now likes chunkier. Yeah, bigger you know, watches. Yeah. Now, yeah. Now going back I've to got the a couple of little tags and they're that size yeah. and I just feel when they're on my wrist yeah, that they're just lost. Yeah, they just don't really wear small yeah. watches yeah. anymore that everyone yeah. wants to everyone's, watches. yeah. yeah. I'll send right. you a full video. Right, that's great. And I'll give you the website as well so you can see all of our yeah, stuff. Yeah, fabulous. Up. Right, Perfect. super. Well, thank, thank you very, very much for your time and your help. Nice to meet you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Right. Just had a customer looking for a day date. So these are some of the options, 36 millimetre yellow gold. She prefers the black diamond dial, but she's gonna look tonight on a Rolex. See which dial she definitely wants. She might want a mother of pearl. These were the other two. She did prefer this strap, but with the fluted bezel, and that's something that Rolex don't make. So president strap it is. Harry, we'll show you some of the watches that we've bought over the last day or so. Some of the pieces which you don't normally see every day. We will start with, I think Josh showed you this earlier, but this is actually bought and sold. So we bought and sold this in one day, so it's it's actually already sold. But this is the Meteorite Oyster Flex Daytona. Obviously with the Meteorite dial with the set in yellow gold. I think I've only ever had maybe three pieces 
and this is the first yellow one that I've had. So a very special rare piece. Moving on to the Omega. This is actually classed as the meteorite. Grey side of the moon. I yeah, think. Speedmaster, grey side of the moon. I think this retails are 12.6, I believe. This is brand new. It will be selling this for 11,500, so slightly below this. I like the color combo on that, the gray with the rose. It reminds me of that Vacheron that you had in. Yeah. On it, the gray strap. I, everything actually works really nicely on this watch. It's the first time we've had it, but it's a uh, set in titanium, titanium ceramic it's called. It's actually got a really impressive movement on the back as well. Yeah, so I can show you it. We have this absolutely stunning frosted rose gold ladies 37 mil Royal Oak. This is, you know, very special piece. We don't come across these watches very often. Ballpark value is around a hundred thousand. You know, if anybody wants to treat any of the of the wives or girlfriends, this is a this is a stunning, stunning watch to have. Um, yeah, so that's recently come or any, in. Any lady entrepreneurs out there? You know, hundred percent, definitely. So this is the the new green dial date. Just we have bought and sold quite a lot of these watches. This one in particular, it comes with the fluted bezel, jubilee bracelet with the new green dial. So that's up there competing with the Wimbledon for like the top spot in terms of the most desirable date yeah. dress dials, right? Currently, I would say it's above. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, as it's a new dial. So we have the rose gold Pilot Patek. Rose gold case with the... Is that a fairly new model or is it something no. that Patek's had in the catalog for a while? It, no, no, it's not a new model, but th this piece in particular is brand new. It's unworn. We'll move to this Vacheron. So this is overseas Vacheron. This is the first one we've had. So this is rose gold Vacheron with the blue dial, which just pops. The first one in rose, right? Because we've had a steel one before. Yeah, we've had quite a few steel Vacherons, the, the dual time as well, and also the plane in the chrono. The case size, the width on this is a little bit smaller than the chronograph, but mm -hmm. it's a lovely looking watch and it does look really nice on the wrist. Yeah, sits well, sits well. And that one actually, I'm sure that has like a really clever bracelet adjust system as well, where you just pull it like it's actually within the link. If you see, you can push in that last link, just, you just push it. Got it, yeah. Which is quite nice, because you don't get that yes. on, say, a Patek or Yeah, or so, you've, so you've, got, you've got like the, so yeah, so it's on both sides, self-adjustment. So it comes with the full rose gold bracelet, mm -hmm. also comes with leather and it also comes with ru rubber. And it's so got it's a quick change system, doesn't it? So it has, so the, 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 the bracelet... So technically, just... if you went on holiday, you could take all of them, yes, as quick as that. And you could have like a rubber strap if you were out at the beach or the pool or something. Exactly, so it's very versatile, so you yeah. get three watches in one. This is the Patek, the Grand Complication Perpetual Calendar um, in rose gold with the black dial. It's a stunning watch, I have it wrapped because it's a very expensive piece. Now this watch is around 170 to 180,000 pounds in the market. So all of these watches have all been bought from the general public, not from any dealer. So once again, I'd like to thank everybody who has dealt with us in the past and you know, more, all of our stock, our majority of our stock will come that way direct from clients. And last but not least, I'll show you this one, which is a very special watch. This is the 5711 forward slash 14, and it is the Nautilus, and it is the Nautilus with the very special green dial. Not one that you see every day of the week. Definitely not. Super, super rare watch. It also comes with the factory diamond bezel. Uh, I've never actually bought or sold that watch, but this one particularly, I think maybe I've had four or five pieces. Mm -hmm. Super rare with the green dial, so sought after for a serious protect collector. This watch particularly is worth circa 400,000. It's a big money. What we've got on the table, Hammer? Total on the table, Josh. Quick guess. Uh, ballpark. No, yeah. plus this. Yeah. Around 700, I'd say. 700? Oh, probably 700, yeah. yeah. With over half of it in that one watch, yeah, which is the crazy. Yeah. Very similar green. We would go this one for your daily, this one for your sporty look, and the green 5711. That one's just going to be an investment to stay in the safe. Yeah, that's my three that's picks. for the missus. If you're looking for something on a Saturday night, when I get lucky, that's what you give to her to keep her happy. <laughs> Right, Hendo, I notice it's, it's Monday morning. I Monday you've morning. You've got a bag of goodies. We've got my little bag of goodies, which is fresh from the workshop. Some service work, some refurb work, some customers watches, some stock watches. We have a couple of celebrities in the store this morning, which Harry will pan round to a little bit. And we're going to have a talk with Jack and Shoes Dad. And just for the, just for the viewers out there, I am not Jack and Shoes Dad. <laughs> 
and I'm not Robbie Savage's dad, right? <laughs> so I don't know where the compliments, I don't know where, whether it's good, bad or indifferent. So I've always thought Sue's dad and Jack's dad is very cool, but I've always thought Robbie Savage is just as cool. So first thing this morning is a customer's watch, steel and gold 36 mil which was sold a couple of months ago, unfortunately wasn't running right. So it's come back in under guarantee, gone into the workshop. It's been fully serviced. There was a slight problem and it needed adjustment on one of the wheels. The customer requested when we had it that he would pay for another refurb. Okay. So all serviced, refurbed and hopefully another satisfied customer. He bought that watch 11 months ago and he come in and said his watch isn't working so he expected to pay for the for the repair but we do give 12 months warranty with all of our watches. So we paid for the servicing and the to fix the watch and he just paid for the refurb. He was doing a real good double team this morning straight away. So I can tell from looking at this Hublot, um, which has been refurbed. It's Hublot Classic Fusion, which John purchased last week. It's got a skeletonized dial, right? Skeletonized dial, you know, not in the realms of AP Skelly, but a great, great, good looking watch for a fraction of- an affordable Skelly, that one, isn't it? Exactly. It's an affordable Skelly. Um, 44 mil, and I think it'll be marketed for under ten thousand pounds and it, has, that been, has that been refurbished that has that been because it looks that has been fully new. refurbed that watch has been completely stripped i'm gonna i think i've all i think i've got a picture of the watch stripped on the bench mm -hmm. and if i can i'll get yeah, you to put it, it on because it on. when these watches are stripped they are in a million pieces so Again, refurbed, ready to go, and that'll be online within the next 24 hours. Again, sub £10,000 for a fantastic wristwatch. What would list be on that one? I'll test uh, it. list on this would have been about £14,000. I'm going to say the watch will possibly be under 10 years old. I would have thought probably 2012, 2014, and something like that. Steel, what number not... I'll tell you exactly what year it is. Right, so the number is 2856. Stock number 2856. It's 2013, you weren't too far away. 2013, so it is under, under 10 years old. Yeah, and but it's going to be far away on the price. 7995? Less. Wow. 6995, but there's a deal to be done. There you go. So, a wow, what a piece. This is a customer of ours, virtually virtually brand new, rose gold uh, 41 with a ruby diamond baguette dial. So this is Ooh. the Day Day 2, which is different from the Day Day 40, yeah. which is a current yeah. one. Yeah. Discontinued. Discontinued. Discontinued wash. I do have four in stock though, yeah. so yeah. I like it. Hook Josh up. Yeah, you get one, one, one for the whole family, yeah? We've got four in stock. Yeah. So, this watch has had very, very little wear, but when customer showed me the watch and asked me, there was a slight problem with the winding, a slight problem with the day date and the date function. Yeah. When we stripped it down, very, very unusual. The One of the gears had stripped teeth and it had slightly fractured. No re, can't, it's not can't misuse. Why, but... Not misuse, yeah. because the watch is still stickered. The watch is like, brand new yeah but as opposed to sending it back to rolex and maybe uh, not having a debate as to the age of the watch and the wear and the condition we've repaired it uh replaced the gear fully serviced it so again 12 months warranty and hopefully oh, another happy go. customer that dial can you get that dial in the current lineup at all or is that a unique dial to that watch i don't think you can anymore no i think no. that dial's discontinued so that's your option because i think that's one of the best looking dials when jack and i went down to see the tyson fight jack did a little bit of wheeling and dealing in the crowd so came over to me and went what are you wearing i didn't have an expensive watch on he went get that on your wrist i've just dealt it with a customer so i wandered around london uh, wearing that which the whole point of me not wearing an expensive watch was that I didn't have to worry about yeah, having 50 radar. grand or 50 grand on my wrist. So I wore that for the weekend in London. Yeah. And it is, again, when we were down in the crowd, people recognised us. 
it's the type of thing that expect people expect us to be wearing. Yeah. Maybe not me all the time, but a great watch. They do it in yellow gold as well, and they do a white gold version as well, which is all both discontinued. And you think with that dial, the white gold? Yeah, uh, no, it's got the blue. It's got the oh, blue. Oh, it's got blue sapphires. Blue, yeah, not blue. So, following on what I've just been saying about celebrities being in the building, one first thing Monday morning, just for anybody that does want to know, this is... Jack and Stu's Hello. dad. This is Stuart <laughs> Senior, who's flown in from Greece this weekend to watch his beloved football team, Nottingham Forest, <laughs> get stuff <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Two, two, Black Mud Army! Two, two, Black Mud Army! <laughs> Sorry, I've been waiting to do that all weekend. Sorry. So, one of the goodies in my bag for this morning is a watch that's come all the way from Greece from a client of Stu Seniors. It has a problem with the winder, a very, very unusual Corum timepiece. You've seen me wearing a Corum Admiral's Cup before. You've seen me talk about Corum. Believe it or not, when you look at this watch, it's stainless steel and it's set with diamonds. Factory set. Factory set. Corum were one of the very first companies to so bear in mind setting stones in precious metals is very easy. Setting stones in stainless steel, nobody could do it for many years. The technology wasn't there. Oh, yeah. It wasn't possible because stainless steel is so hard. Corum were one of the very first. So Anybody that bought this watch new and put it on, it, it, it was automatic that it was going to be white gold. Yeah. Stu said to me, and he's been in the trade for years, just make sure that's stainless steel. Very, very hard for me to get a winder. I'm hopefully going to be able to repair it by putting a stem and tube in. Mm -hmm. It will be a repair. It will not be ideal but hopefully but somebody get will get working. many years of use out of it. One of the questions that Stu asked me is what's its value? It's worth a lot more than it's gonna be. I've got a very similar sort of ladies, one of these, which I bought 10 years ago for 700 quid. It's probably only worth that. It was three grand when it was new. This watch is probably worth, in the trade, a couple of grand, three, four, maybe five grand retail, but you know, it's just a hard, hard piece. It reminds me of like a, a shop art time yeah, piece. Yes, it's exactly the same as a shop art that we have online. Equally as hard to sell. Shop art make the most fantastic jewelry. The quality of the wristwatches is fantastic. The residual value mm. isn't there. So a little job to be getting on with with that. You never know, I might be able to buy it because as you know, I love the odd, odd ball. Then we have a customer's service. I've had this watch a couple of times and there's been an inherent problem. So I've serviced it, I've replaced the mainspring and it's not been keeping time. So I gave it back to the watchmaker. The third time it's been stripped and serviced, the watchmaker noticed that the hairspring had snapped. So you have very little adjustment on the hairspring. Fortunately enough, this repaired or it would have been a replace of the full balance staff, which is very expensive. On a watch of this age, you know, it's it's gonna hurt the customer. If you were replacing the parts on something like that, then the bill was five, six hundred pounds it will be all right mm -hmm. if you say to somebody that a watch of this age and condition is four five hundred pounds it's a lot of money relative um, to the value again of we triage everything uh, you know i like that word boys it's what you, when you go into hospital the doctors see what's wrong with you beforehand a lot of customers ask us could you give me an estimate what i say all the time is you take your car to the garage and if you have to change the exhaust the exhaust's 150 pound and it's 70 pounds to fit it to triage a watch you've got to strip it you've got to do the service and do the work before you know what's wrong you only find out when it goes back together so it's, it is hard to estimate but we always try to estimate we always try to repair or replace doesn't matter what value of watch it is whether it's a four grand or a 50 60 grand in my bag is something that we've talked about and this is a one of mine when we did a little feature on uh, watches we talked about the stainless steel oyster quartz that's the exact same watch but with the the jubilee equivalent in a oyster quartz from memory i think it's sort of mid to late 80s 86 87 something like that but the condition the condition is incredible it, condition is incredible it's just had a new battery put in, a mini service, and 
hopefully good to go again. All right then, well thanks for showing us your Monday morning goodie bag. Yep. Yeah.